Hi, I'm Dr. Sabrina Shah Desai, an aesthetic oculoplastic surgeon based in London on Harley Street. Now, unlike eye bags, which are fat bulges above the bony eye socket rim, I'd like to talk to you about festoons, which are known as Mailer bags. Mailer bags is really a broad anatomical umbrella term used to describe three main conditions, Mailer edema, Mailer mounds, and festoons that clinically appear as waterlogged, swollen saddle bags at the junction of the lower eyelid and the upper cheek. So, what is Mela edema? Mela edema is fluid accumulation over the eminence of the cheek. And it can vary in severity, often worsening after salty meals or first thing in the morning. The consistency is usually soft and compressible. And there is occasionally like a pitting or a slightly bluish or purplish discoloration. We do need to establish there are no cardiac, renal or liver uh, conditions. There's no underactive thyroid or surgical or under eye fillers that are responsible for this. And sometimes allergies are also causative. Now, Mela mounds are chronic soft tissue swelling at the upper cheek. And this permanent soft tissue bulb usually contains hypertrophic fat or muscle which has descended. And often there is a familial history of the mounds and these can be seen from childhood. Now, fluid or fat-filled hammocks of lax skin and the orbicularis muscle which occur below the infraorbital rim are called festoons. Festoons are typically senile and have progressed from either malar mounds and edema to become evident in you know, the elderly and they can often be seen in really severely sun-damaged skin or chronic smokers. Now, although surgical treatment is the classic option, with possible improved long-term stability, revisions are not uncommon. And post-operatively, the results often need to be enhanced by tailored non-surgical procedures. Now, what are the non-surgical procedures? These are Morpheus 8, Endolift, Hyaluronidase, and Dermal Fillers, which offer an exciting alternative for mild to moderate mailer bags, but require repeat treatments because the improvements are just temporary or maybe the rejuvenation is insufficient. So in my experience, the role of a single optimal treatment for festoons remains unclear, but it seems likely that Mailer bags are best managed with a multifaceted approach and a variety of individualized interventions, whether you use energy-based treatments, dermal fillers, hyaluronidase, or surgery to better manage this chronic and challenging condition. I hope this has given you uh, some insights into managing this challenging condition called Mailer Bags. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to visit my website or contact my team at Perfect Eyes Limited. I look forward to seeing you.